testing conducted by USC and the health department, more than 800 hand-picked people had the antibody test in April. It showed more than 4% had the antibody, meaning they possibly had COVID-19, showed very little symptoms or no symptoms at all. In the recent round, May 8th to May 12th, 1,000 hand-picked patients were chosen, and the number of people testing positive cut in half, just over 2%. What we find is between the two waves, there is no evidence of a big increase in incidence of COVID-19, which is good news. And this is what Dr. Ferrer emphasized, that this, this shows that we are controlling the new infections in our community. And I think this is likely due because so many of us did a great job staying at home. In raw numbers, what the percentage shows is that anywhere from 100 to 300,000 more people in the county have been exposed to COVID-19. But the experts have a caution. This test did not include homeless, people in jail, or people residing in retirement homes, or children. In the next round of testing, those groups will be included. And also this. We can follow the same individuals over time and test them repeatedly. This will get at the issue of reducing the variation in our sample, getting more precise estimates. It shows how the rate of transmission of COVID-19 has changed over time. And good news on that front. We were told today in the early stages in this pandemic in March, an infected person was infecting three other people. Now that rate of infection, they say, is one to one. This led to a gradual flattening in the number of new cases and a relatively stable demand for hospital resources. Does all this mean that the county is on course to reopen much of the economy, with the exception of crowds and stadiums?